Hello and welcome to today's Where's the Trade. My name is Joshua Bellinger of OptionSizzle.com and we're going to look at Hillshire Brands and we're going to cover the large spread that traded in the July 34 and the July 39 call strikes. So taking a look where my cursor is at, you see that 26,000 contracts traded in each. The calls were bought at $1.20 and the, uh, the 39 calls were sold at 10 cents. So the net debit on this trade is at $1.10. So you see that there's a large amount of money that went behind this trade. Now, looking at these strikes here and looking at where the contract or where the uh, price is closed at, 3250, this is a very significant move. The thing that I don't really understand and, and being looking at it as as a on a bigger picture here that uh, they're selling the calls at 10 cents. Now, if you were a, a retail trader, it wouldn't make any sense to put you know to sell the contract at 10 cents being that far out because you you are capping but you're not really getting much in premium so usually when you do a call spread you want to get uh, some decent amount of premium but for them being that these are 26,000 contracts and they're getting ten dollars for each contract that makes a little bit of a difference and lowers their cost so this actually traded with stock and taking a look at some of the options that traded this possibly could be a stock replacement strategy where they're using the options and this is something that I've seen very recently over the last several weeks and, and going into the beginning of the year where a lot of a lot of larger traders the giants in the marketplace are using the options more than they're using this than using stock so they're trying to get a lot more uh, alpha in their portfolio a lot more juice to really increase their return so looking at the chart here we want to break this down so I'm looking at a 10-year monthly today we were closing at 3254 so being in the February month that uh, we're, we're breaking out here <clears throat> so you can see here that in January we, we started to break out here February we're getting follow-through so with Heinz deal that uh, Berkshire has taken over this could be a catalyst of moving it forward and not only that we see the call spreads that are being positioned going into to July so the summertime for more continuation higher now what we want to look at here though going back to these option contracts is where's the trade well it's a little bit tough to follow this exact trade and I really wouldn't I mean if you're going to follow it I would go along the, the July 34 calls um, if you're looking to do a spread though you see that the volume here is not that uh, the the open interest is not that that large here, so you might have a little bit of a problem. The other problem as well is if you get into these July 34 calls, these buyers are going to likely sit there. So even though there's a large open interest there, the spreads are going to probably not be in your favor. You can see here a little bit lower that the spreads are about 20 cents. So there's going to be a little bit of slippage here. So you know the best way is either to look at the stock or to get into some uh, to get into a contract that's probably a little bit more in the money that you could potentially exercise if you do get caught here's what I would like for you to do now make sure you click subscribe if you haven't if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't give it a thumbs down leave a comment below tell me why you liked it why you did not like it and if you found the information to be valuable and you think that there's someone else out there that you know that could use the information or find the information valuable, make sure you click the share icon here and share the video with them.